Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, uh, part from Thingiverse that uh, we've printed out. Actually, we've printed two of these out, and it's probably one of the most useful um, camera holders or just holders in general that I've come across with ever. So we we built uh, another one. This is not my first one. So this is this is one that's been built over here. And in short, what it does is allow you to clamp, um, you know, a camera in here or, or tablet, etc. And it, it's really just only bound by how long of a rod that you have uh, to go in here. So, anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to build one, and then we're going to kind of take a little bit deeper look. So. Let's uh, go pull that one off the bed and start assembly. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Okay, so welcome back. We got these up off the bed. So uh, now the interesting thing is, is are these these are identical? So in, in the STL that you download, you get one of these, and you just simply print out two of them. They're exactly the same. And in short, what they do is they have a quarter twenty nut opening, so you can put a quarter twenty nut in here, and then um, you can again put the bolt through here, and you see where it has a place to hold its head. And then the idea is, is what happens is this actually mounts to a tripod head sort of like this. So uh, typically what I do on, on these is I put the, the nut in and it's a rather tight fit and I take a pair of pliers and again kind of press fit it in and then you can see it's, it's pretty darn tight. Um, now the one sort of downfall, is I gotta make sure make sure you get it all the way down in there. I don't know if you can see this, um, it needs to really be touching the bottom piece there. So, uh, then what happens is, so, some of these are a little bit too short for this I found, but most of them will work, like th this one, this one should work. So, you, as you can see, I'm screwing this one in, and you can kind of see how it's working here. So, it, it tightens up, and voila, it's mounted to your tripod, and you can mount something on there, but now we've haven't put this piece in yet. However, I just wanted to show you how that goes together before um, uh, I take it. Uh, I put the other piece apart. Put the other piece apart. That just doesn't sound right. So, uh, so we're going to slide this through here. Now, there's this can get a little bit um, because it is tight fitting. So we just kind of press this in and. Uh, Looking, this might be a little bit tight fit for this, this particular bolt. Um, and then we take this one, and then we kind of screw this one down on here. And I'll put links to this from Thingiverse on the uh, in the show notes below. Now this, this bolt's a little bit short, um, and again, what I'm going to do, again, I probably suggest a washer on top, and then we pull this in here, and s keep tightening it up, because what I'm going to try to do is pull this bolt, this bolt head into here. I'm not sure if I, that's gonna, this is going to work, because this this one is a seems to be a little bit bigger than my opening. Because as you can see here with this one, how it's pulled in, for some reason this head seems to be a little bit bigger, but this is a standard, and you can kind of see on this one how it goes together. Um, 
however the idea is is then with this if I pull this apart you probably want to do this a few times and you want your your nut your bowl to be probably a little bit longer than um, your your camera, your phone, or whatever you're going to stick in there by about three quarters of an inch. And then, in short, what happens is this would slide in there. Now, this one's a little bit uh, bolt short because it's not pulling that through. Because for some reason, this head seems to be a little bit bigger. I'll have to try a different uh, quarter 20 on that. However, we'll switch to this one, and you can kind of see what happens here. This pulls in, and this just tightens down, and voila. So you can use it in a couple different fashions. So you can use it you can use it in, in this way, so the camera is looking out and you can have full access to the screen. Uh, you can flip it around and where the screen is impeded by the, the bolt, um, depending on the functionality. And we'll try to keep it in the frame so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And so it mounts, and then you just you have to work around it, but you can do it that way. Uh, however, you know, again, with the iPhones and the um, Androids, it's easy to go this way. Now, just one of the things you want to make, you, you know, you want to make sure you're not clamping down on your buttons or anything like that, or your mic. So now, now I have to be honest, I've clamped down over... Um, the mic and, and I did a recording and I didn't get any sound and I'm like what the heck is going on um, but you sort of get the idea then this mounts on the uh, tripod and again because it, the camera the lens is offset over here you know this is perfectly fine and this this really works great and again you see I put a, a longer bolt so it's really only you know governed by how long of a bolt and the other thing you could do is actually take a quarter 20 nut and put it down here and actually get a quarter 20 rod and you could do and uh, you know uh, a regular iPad might be getting a little bit big I have done an iPad in this before uh, it's a little bit big but iPad minis like the Nexus 7 the smaller tablets all work really good um, with this uh, mounting bracket and again this one I've done in ABS this one I've done in PLA on the Fabricator mini um, so uh, you can kind of get an idea. Anyways, uh, hopefully this helped. Again, I find these extremely handy. Uh, so I've been very happy with these and just kind of wanted to share with the rest of the community um, because this is just real practical. This is kind of like one of my go-to mounts for uh, general use. So anyways, if you found this handy, hey, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, let's give her a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.